Hi beauties, welcome back. Jire here to Coco Cares. Um, I'm grateful for anybody who's new and for all of you guys who are returning. Today's gonna be short and sweet, guys. Um, I took some notes. This was actually something I was thinking about, I think like last night or the night before while I was eating. <laughs> and um, I've said this, like I say, I say this all the time, but everything I talk about on the channel are things that I'm currently growing through. This is why I call it a growth community. Um, but I wanna talk about honoring your schedule and it's something that I feel as though the Lord is impressing upon my heart more and more because I think as women, I mean, as people, you know, um, we were all given a purpose. And I think most importantly for women, if you guys are believers and you guys do, um, you know, subscribe, I, I guess I would say, to what the, the Lord says about a thing, then regarding marriage, um, I feel as though all the women have like their own pursuit in life, their own um, mission to accomplish in life, their own vision. I feel that when the Lord pairs men and women up together, he pairs women and men together who have the same vision so that um, a woman can be an added benefit and asset to the vision that he's given to the man that she also holds so she can be a helpmate. Um, and so I think as individuals, when we start taking ownership of our life as a single and honoring our schedule and our life as a single, it makes us, it makes it that much more easier to do it when we're in a relationship, you know, instead of, um, you trying to have your own agenda, your own set thing, and then them trying to have their own agenda, their own set thing. And it's almost like a two headed horse, you know, um, there's no vision, there's no, um, cooperation, there's no agreement, there's no like order and people are getting mad because you're not doing what I want you to do. You're not doing what I need you to do. You know, like it's not working. So I think when we start honoring our schedule, well, one, when we start, when we know our vision, we know who we should be paired up with. And in knowing our own vision, when we start honoring our schedule and executing that, when we do get paired up with someone, it's only going to be to grow and to elevate into like the next level, um, not to try to become something. So there's this one thing I'm like, I always said, I didn't always say this, <laughs> but people have said, I've heard people say, show me who you hang around and I'll show you who you're, who you'll be in five years or whatever. So then I kind of translate it and I was like, okay, show me your schedule and I'll show you who you'll be in five years. And the reason I feel that is so like, um, like vitally true now, because if you think about it, you know, the reason why jobs create schedules two weeks in advance, sometimes a month in advance, you know, the reason why, um, if you're going to like see a house or to make an appointment or whatever, you have to schedule it is so that people in that company and that organization understand what's going on. They understand what's coming next. They follow a schedule for a reason. Um, a manager books certain people on certain days with certain skills for a reason because they need uh, the sis a system and an operation flowing as seamless and as smoothly as possible. And if you are in a job and you understand when people call out, that puts a big hit on the whole team. And so take that in account to your own life. Like when you start planning your life out, you know, maybe a week in advance, like say you do your schedule on Sunday um, or on Monday or whenever. But when you start planning your schedule out and you start telling your mind like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the gym three times a week. We're going to do Pilates two times a week. We're going to do uh, a mass, you know, five times a week. You know, we're going to read four times a week you're basically pre pro, like I don't know, what, what, what would be the right word programming I guess your life into existence you know so you can say I know my life is gonna look like this in a year I know I'm gonna be here in five years because you're already thinking about okay 
What do I want to achieve? What is it going to take me to achieve that? And what? how do I have to schedule and order my life in order to get those things done? And so um, honoring your schedule is so big because if you do plan your life out a week in advance or two weeks in advance or whatever, but then you don't honor it, you're almost doing yourself a disservice. You're basically lying to your subconscious mind of like, okay, we're going to do all this work, but for nothing. Um, you know, I'm going to, it's almost like a living in a fantasy saying like, this is what I want, but you're not putting in the work for what you want, but you're still believing like, this is what I want. Like, no, boo boo. It's not going to happen like that. You know, you have to do the work. And so when you plan your life out in advance, you, you know, like, okay, when you're working, when you're resting, when is like me time, when is relaxation, when you, um, you can even put in there, like, I'm going to eat a burger on Fridays, you know, it say like you eat very healthy or whatnot. Um, but I feel as though when we don't do what we say we're going to do, we disrespect ourselves. And like a lot of times we don't have our own consequences for something. Say you have a job and you call out of that job. If you do that three to five times, you're probably going to get written up or you might get fired depending on the job that you work there. So if that was in the, I mean, if you put that same penalty towards yourself and you told yourself you were going to do something and you didn't happen, oh, oh, this is a good one. People will be like, okay, if you smoked and you automatically got wrinkly, you would not smoke. If you ate a burger and you automatically blew up, you would not have a burger, you know? Like, if you understand the consequences of something that's gonna happen and how fast it's gonna happen, how much it's gonna hurt, you, like, were programmed to just, okay, stay away from that. But if the consequences are slow and growing, it's doing yourself more harm because you're slowly killing yourself, but you don't feel the pain in the instance. You almost feel pleasure. So it's like, why not? But that's what we're doing to ourselves when we make a schedule and we don't follow through. Because if you're leaning on emotions or you're leaning on how you're feeling, regardless of um, you planning something in advance, you're going to be like, okay, well, I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to do it. But then the next day or maybe a week later, when what you should have done at that time affects, you know, your current state the week later, it's going to be like, dang, I should have just done that. So instead of always being an individual that's, you know, needing to get ready, needing to prepare, needing to, you know, do this or do that, stay prepared, you know, like write the vision, make it plain and follow through. Like if you have a vision, it's plain, you know what you need to do, but you're not following through. That vision is never going to come into flourishing. That vision is just always going to be like something in the air that you can almost grasp, but you can't really touch, you know? Um, and I always say this, like life is more than just going to work, you know, waking up, going to work, coming home, going to sleep. Some people it's wake up, get ready, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to sleep. And so, um, start planning your life out as if you didn't have a job because I strongly feel like the purpose for don't get me wrong there are some people who their job is their purpose you know like doctors and firefighters like there some jobs are extremely essential and we need people who want to do those things but in some cases I feel as though jobs are just vehicles to prepare you for what's next and in all cases i think that people should be um understanding their gifts and utilizing their strengths so that they can create something that's going to be revolutionizing for the world you know i really like the times you know before you know bc and before the industrial revolution when like if your last name was baker we knew you were a baker you know if your last name was carpenter we knew you like we could go to you to build something um, your last name basically identified who you were and what you did. And then it got, you know, it went into people just trying to be programmed to work for somebody else, to work for somebody who is willing to step outside of the box and schedule their life and honor that schedule. And so when, um, we do think like that, 
of not just waking up, going to work, coming home. And we start planning our life to like, I'm going to wake up at seven. I'm going to work out. I'm going to eat. I'm going to read. I'm going to, you know, journal. I'm going to, you know, do things because this is the life I want to see. This is the vision that I have. Even if that's traveling, you know, like what do you have to learn? What do you have to study? How do you have to educate yourself to be on that level? Um, whatever it is that you want to do, even if it's a new skill set that you want to learn, start programming that in your life, in your schedule so that you can honor it. So your life is more than just working for somebody else, you know, work for yourself. If that's the dream. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Right now I'm being really, I want to say diligent in honoring my schedule and then just, you know, making that a part of my lifestyle so that um, I can see the things that I desire and I can grow to the individual, the more of what I'm already doing. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.